And now for my disclosure, legal thing. Hello everyone, this is my video and channel disclosure. All my videos, including this one, is my opinion. The video does not contain any facts, nor fiction. It's not racist, hate, even, it's not even educational. Nor whatever. The intent of my videos is for entertainment, laughs, fun, humor, and to make you think outside the box. Therefore, YouTube cannot base on your guideline, flags, or remove this video, or any of my videos. Um, in fact, check this out. Native American Indian, Navajo, once told me when I asked him about being offended, he said, one chooses to be offended. Again, all my videos are for fun. Enjoy your life. Don't be so serious that you lose your sense of humor. It's okay to laugh, folks. I hope you are entertained by my videos, and if not, oh well. <laughs> Have a great day, and it's time for an entertaining video. Thanks for tuning in and Jeff Ferris on the Hot Topics. Today, I'm going to give you my two cents on the election, the 20, what was it, 2020 election being rigged, stolen, whatever Trump said. Now, first off, I am a Trump supporter, and I will vote for Trump again. I think his policies were better for this country than what Biden has done and what the Democrats want to do. So, just throw that to the side. Now I'm going to talk about the election thing. I don't think it was rigged or stolen. Okay, I'm not going to go there. However, I am going to take this angle. And this is the one that I think everybody should freak out about. In the state of Arizona, or in Maricopa County, they did an audit. And in this audit, they found thousands of discrepancies, like over 10,000 discrepancies. Oh, here's my dog. He wants to say hi. He wants to give me a hug. Oh, Concho, I love you. His name's Concho. He's, he's a good boy. Yeah, you're a good boy, huh? There's an interruption with love by a dog. Mm. All right, so what was that? Oh, the Maricopa County audit. So the audit that was done in Maricopa County found thousands of discrepancies, like over 10,000. I don't remember the exact number. But here's the thing. A discrepancy is, or was, it was defined as the type of pen or marker that was used, the way that it was, you know, you're supposed to fill in the bubble, not put an X, that kind of thing. Um, that's a discrepancy. A discrepancy is is the quality of the ballot, the paper, the because it has to be a certain thickness, a certain card type, and so some of them weren't that. Um, also, ballots were mailed out to people who had passed away. They're the government. How do they not know? They get information from the hospital on who's died, and the mortuaries and things. So. All you got to do is cross-reference. So now I get it if somebody's died within maybe like a two or three month period before the, the election. But really, someone who died two years prior? Yeah, my grandmother got a ballot. She was dead for like five years prior. She should have never gotten a ballot. So... And I won't tell you what happened to that ballot because I don't want to incriminate myself. So anyhow, so someone could easily fill in that ballot, put down the date of birth if they know that date of birth of that person and do a signature and send it in. Now here's the other thing. Signature verification to me makes is stupid because signature verification is, is somebody looking at a signature. Now, the signature that they have on file for me was one that was done like, what, 30 years ago, right? 40 years ago, holy cow, 40 years ago. So that signature is totally different than the signature today. Now, granted, from what I understand, a signature expert can still tell that even though your signature changes, there's still little loops and things that kind of still remain the same. But you're going to take somebody with very little training and they're going to be able to spot that I'm not buying it. So, s 
signature verification is dumb. Just stupid. Birth date verification is dumb. I looked at my, because I'm a registered voter in the state of Arizona, I looked at, I get a voter ID card. That's why I don't understand why people don't, don't freak out over voter ID. You get a voter ID card when you register to vote. And you get a voter number. You have a number. And you have your driver's license number. They're linked together. You can use either one. If I'm doing a mail-in ballot, I should have to put that voter ID number on there. Or my driver's license number, not my date of birth or signature. But, but the discrepancy is ballots that were sent out to dead people. Also, a discrepancy was ballots that were sent to multiple ballots to the same person. You know, and even the discrepancy was a ballot that you had mailed in and you also went down and voted. Because after all, if I go down and I mail in a ballot and then two days later I go and I vote on the day of election, then that's still in the mail probably. And then I vote. They don't know that I've already voted yet. So now I got two votes. Now, some of them were caught and some of them weren't. But it means I got, I got to vote twice. No, I didn't do that, but we got to have a better system. So, and, then, and then there was other discrepancies about even because they had drop-off ballot boxes that weren't secure and et cetera. But the bottom line is, is that there was discrepancies. Everybody should have been freaking out over that, but a lot of people weren't. They were like, nope, you should trust the system. And then, and then they say, nope, Trump's lying about the election results. How do you know he's lying? Did you do an audit? Well, no. You got to trust the system, so therefore he's lying. No. If, if Trump actually is yelling out saying that there's a problem, everybody should be going, all right, we're going to prove you wrong, and we're going to do the audit. We should have already had audits done. Audits should be part of the process to eliminate somebody because even 2016, the Democrats were saying the exact same thing Trump was. Exact same thing. That he stole the election. He, he partnered with Russia to steal the election. That's why there was that three-year investigation that found he didn't partner with Russia. Why don't we do a three-year investigation on this election? Hasn't been done. But yet he made the same claim that Hillary made. Why is it good for her and not for him? So, to solve this whole problem, we need to have audits. We need to have a more secure election, and we need to use that voter ID, and we need to have an audit process. Even before someone cries foul, we need to start an audit process. And here's the important part. The Democrats need to have an audit team, the Republicans have an audit team, and the Independents have an audit team. And that audit team cannot be the same audit team from one election to another. People have to change. Okay? And you can't just go from like one district to another district, it has to be totally new people, or at least a couple new people, to help eliminate favoritism, basically. And the audit results, everybody should have the same results, right? Because if somebody's result is one ballot different, there's a problem. It's like even on a recount. I've always thought recounts were stupid. You do a recount, Oh, we did a recount, and yeah, so-and-so actually increased in their voting. Really? That means somebody screwed up, either the first time or the second time. Because the numbers should be exactly the same. There should not be one ballot different on a recount. Just like an audit. This is why I call for an audit. Three audits on one election. All four results should be exactly the same. Not one single ballot at either line item should be different. If there's one that's different, 
you have a problem, somebody screwed up, and you got to redo it all. And if the audits, if all three audits come up with one answer or one result, and the actual results were different, then you either A, say the audit teams are right, three to one, or else you say, you know what, let's scrap everything and do it all over again. And here's the other part. We have the capability of counting millions and millions of ballots in just hours. It shouldn't take more than a few days. It should take less than a few hours to count the ballots. Okay? And then the audit should also take maybe a day or two, and they should be done. We should have complete audits and results completed within just a few days. That way, if we need to do it again, we do it again. It gives us time. So, was it stolen? I'm not going to answer that. Because I don't know. I wasn't part of the audit. But I will say this. There sure were a lot of discrepancies. That's a problem. That means we need to do something to fix it. Because maybe, maybe Trump was right. But because we didn't do a proper audit... And we only had one team audit. We needed a couple more. We don't know. But we do know that there were a lot of errors. And counting ballots by hand? Really? One, two, three, seven, ten, and five. When you're counting millions of ballots, are you really going to be able to sit there and count? Your count is going to be right on. Really? It's too much for human error. We could use machines that were built back in 1850 that can sort and count and scan and all this and not have any access to any computer or internet or anything. And it could be a total standalone computer from the 60s. And it could sit there and it could count, sort, do all that. Scan, count, sort. So, was it rigged? Was it stolen? Put down your comments down below. I don't think it matters if it was rigged or stolen. What matters is, were there errors? And if one ballot was casted fraudulently, that's a problem. Oh, that's another thing. What was, what was their, their famous phrase? Oh, but it wasn't enough fraud to overturn the election. Really? <laughs> that is the most stupidest comment I've ever heard in my life. So a little bit of fraud's okay, but if it's enough to overturn the election, that's a problem. So a little bit of fraud's okay. All right. So that means, based on that principle, I could go out and I could defraud every credit card company out there by, I don't know, $25,000 and be able to keep it because they got to keep the, the, uh, the votes, right? They got to keep the ballot votes. So therefore, I should be able to defraud these companies at just $25,000 because it won't affect their overall bottom line. And because of that, I should be allowed to get away with it. Really? No, it's fraud. <laughs> it doesn't matter if it's a little bit of fraud or a lot of fraud to overturn the election. There's fraud. That's a problem. And you need to find a way to zero it out. You've got to find a way to prevent it from happening. And everyone should be freaking out about that. So, after all, Democrats freaked out about it in 2016... Trump freaked out about it 2020. Who's going to freak out about it this next election, right? Who's going to freak out in 2024? Now, maybe 2022, who's going to freak out in that one? I don't know. Election's right around the corner. Unless you're watching this a couple years later. Then I guess it's like history. <laughs> so, thanks for tuning in. Put down your comments down below. I love you guys. Take care. Thanks for watching. Another disclosure. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember, this video was for entertainment only. Keep in mind, you choose to be offended, so nothing I say should offend you. My videos do not contain facts, fiction, racism, hate, education, whatever. Because it's my opinion, and it's all about entertainment. I hope you laughed and enjoyed the video. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Oh! <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe for more silly, humorous, entertaining videos 
Okay, maybe they're not so humorous, they're just boring. <laughs> but the bottom line is, lighten up, folks, have fun. See you, bye, have fun.